Hello, I'm Chris Simmons and welcome back to The Size of Our Shoes. If you're new here, this program is dedicated to action, awareness, and advocacy regarding climate change. On today's episode, let's talk the true cost of beef. Our diets can be one of the largest contributing factors to the size of our personal carbon footprints. 24% of total greenhouse gas emissions can be traced back to forestry, agriculture, and land use, with 14% of that coming from livestock alone. But why? What does it take to make my steak? First, land use. Land for grazing cattle far surpasses land for growing crops. The current estimate from UC Davis says that if we were to turn all that cow food into people food, we could feed 3.5 billion people. To maintain that land takes energy, water, and fertilizer, all of which have their own personal carbon footprints. We can't forget that these creatures are alive, and that comes with some baggage, namely methane. In a process called enteric fermentation, cows digest hard food like hay and grass with the help of microbes in their stomach. The byproduct of this process is methane which has 21 times the global warming potential as carbon. Those reasons, combined with processing, operating slaughterhouses, packaging, and transportation, are the reason that a 15-ounce steak has equivalent emissions to driving 77 miles and burning a 100-watt incandescent bulb for nearly 20 days. So, we know the problems. Now it's time to discuss some solutions. Let's talk turkey, or more specifically, chicken. Chickens require less land, energy, and fertilizer, resulting in a lighter carbon footprint. The rule of thumb is the less red meat on your plate, the lighter the footprint. It's easy to say, go vegan which is of course an amazing diet for the environment, but it's hard. So I would suggest trying a Mediterranean, plant-forward, or flexitarian diet, all three of which greatly reduce the amount of red meat you eat without cutting it out completely. And if you have the ability to kick your carbon savings up a notch, bam, 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 by running a restaurant or owning a catering service, your role can be shifting the focus of the menu to healthier plant-based options. And with plant-based meats being an $800 million a year industry with a 10% annual growth rate, it's easy to see that as a real and profitable option. See, everyone has a role to play. Whether you're a scientist researching the next big thing in sustainable agriculture, or you're just teaching your family how to be healthier. Your change matters. The change you make in any facet of your life matters. Positive change begets positive change, and before you know it, you've not only reduced your carbon footprint, but you've taught those around you how to reduce theirs student and teacher, plant and soil, sprouting the roots to a movement that could change our garden forever. Thank you so much for joining me today. Do you have a favorite vegetarian or vegan hack or recipe? Please leave it in the comments for anyone interested in making a change, even if it's a small one. As always, if you found some value in this video, please like, subscribe, and share. Until next time, be well.